If you've been researching breast implants, I'm sure you've come across Motiva. Motiva builds a safer, more natural, the so-called sixth generation implant with a lot of innovation. Well, in this video, I'm going to separate the myth from the truths. And I'm also going to go through the science behind it all. I'm Dr. Wai Lee, I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. I specialize in breast reconstruction and breast cosmetic surgery, and I've put in hundreds of implants. I'm also a PhD scientist, so I spent six years in the lab getting my PhD, where I specifically studied wound healing cells and how they interact with their environment. So I'm going to go through these step by step, and you cannot afford to miss the last point, which is the most important thing of the entire video. So stick around. So let's start with the first myth. And this is something I commonly get asked. Are they FDA approved devices? Yes, they are, but in part. So as of September 2024, Motiva breast implants were FDA approved in the United States for cosmetic surgery only. So does that mean if you're a breast reconstruction patient and you're thinking of getting or you want to get Motiva implants, you can't get them? No. The fact is, it's what we call off-label use. And in medicine, we use a lot of drugs and medical devices off-label. It simply means the company is not allowed to market it for those purposes. And me, as well as other board-certified plastic surgeons, are using these for reconstruction patients based on our experience with cosmetic patients. So they are FDA-approved, and it's been over a year at this point. So secret number two, and this is one of my favorites, is that the blue seal is like some kind of magic coating and it makes them um, leak proof. And that's simply not true. And I've even heard similar things from plastic surgeons. The point about the blue seal, which is an important technology, is that it's an indicator layer. So each of these, you can, I don't know how well you can see this in the camera, but these, there is a blue tinge. And if you go to any plastic surgeon and you see these, you will definitely notice that. But basically, all the implants made from Motiva have several layers within their shell, and one of those layers is blue. And the point of it is that if there's like a small fracture or a leak inside one of the upper layers, you can see the break in the blue seal and it would look like a clear patch. And this is important in the factory because it's part of their quality control. If they see that not being a uniform blue, they're going to throw that implant out. And if it makes it out of the factory and into the OR, again, as surgeons, once we get it out of the packet, if we see that the blue isn't completely uniform, then we know that that may be potentially a defective implant and not use it and put it inside the patient. So that blue seal is important, but not the way people are kind of selling it. Now that we've cleared up the thing about the blue seal, that takes me to a third secret, which is that Motiva implants are simply a newer version of the gummy bear implants. They are not, they're absolutely not gummy bear implants. What's different? So the gummy bear implants were textured, number one, and I'll go into the texturing later, but they were very firm. They were called form stable and anatomical. So they were teardrop shaped. Now what um, Motiva do have, they have an ergonomics version and a round version, and they're quite dynamic, meaning the shape of the implant actually changes depending on the position of the patient, which is more natural. So this, for instance, is a round implant, and what you see is that when you stand up, it maintains its round um, upper border. And what's different is the ergonomics, which is the here, is more dynamic. So when you stand up, you don't have that so pronounced round edge, making it a lot more natural. But as you move, the whole gel moves with the patient. A lot of patients are liking this. This is a viscoelastic gel, which is really important as part of their new design. And so it's important to know it's different. The other thing is it is not as textured as the gummy bear implants were, and it feels a lot softer and seeing is believing. So if you are interested, I would strongly recommend you go check them out in the plastic surgeon's office. The fourth secret is that Motiva implants can be placed through tiny incisions. And I literally had a patient come last week and say, you know, I went to see a plastic surgeon. They told me that you can put these through a one centimeter incision. That is absolutely not true. One centimeter is about that big. So in some ways there is some truth because it has that viscoelastic property to its gel, meaning it's more compressible. You can in primary augmentations, meaning you've never had surgery before, you want cosmetic surgery to get the breast bigger, you can make a smaller incision because you can put these in through, especially using a funnel, 
um, which is like a piping bag that we use to put the implant in. However, if you're getting any kind of a lift surgery, like I do mastopexies and I do revisions, you're going to need to have a bigger incision to do that other surgery. And also with revision cosmetics patients, I often have to take out the capsule and do a total capsulectomy. You cannot do that through a small incision. And for patients getting mastectomy for reconstruction, absolutely, they cannot make a small incision because they have to get that breast tissue out. One thing is important to remember, apart from the viscoelastic gel, which is very compressible, like I said, the actual shell and the gel act as one piece. It's called monoblock technology, where they kind of don't, it's really hard to separate them. And trust me, I tried when I recently went to their headquarter to visit their factory. Um, they act as one true piece. And that, that's important because their leak rate is pretty low at less than 1% in the recent studies that have come out. So the fifth secret, which I think is the most important secret, and what people get confused about is that Motiva implants are simply textured implants, which some of them, as you know, have been taken off the market due to the causation of ALCL, which is a type of rare blood cancer. So if you look at the Motiva implant itself, it's actually got this smooth surface, but not exactly smooth, because this is a smooth allogen implant. You can see it's clearly smooth. This is what they call smooth silk. It's actually in between. It's called a micro texturing as opposed to macro texturing, which is more rough and you can definitely feel it. I, I don't have one because I never placed textured implants. But basically, this is based on science that came out of the University of Manchester, where they studied how cells behave when they interact with different surfaces. And they designed the surface to make it cell-friendly, so that cells don't recognize it as a foreign object and don't mount such a bad acute inflammatory response. That means less scarring, less capsule, and a less than 1% capsule contraction rate um, across the worldwide data that's available so far. To me, that's a big deal. And I, as I said at the beginning, I spent six years studying how cells interact with their surfaces, and the science makes a lot of sense to me. So I think it's really important when you're saying that are these textured devices? No, they're not textured devices. Technically, I think they're micro textured, but they're more like smooth implants. And on top of that, they're cell friendly. The fancy word is biocompatibility, which people have been throwing around, but not really explaining it in a way that people can understand. So those are the top five secrets I think you need to know about Motiva implants. If you found this helpful, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave comments. As a scientist and a plastic surgeon, I think Motiva implants are an exciting innovation. And I think time will tell, and I'm, I'm excited to see how the data borns out over many, many years of using these implants. If you're interested in how they're made or checking out their headquarters, please join me for an exclusive behind the scenes tour of the factory where I went recently to Costa Rica to visit. Do you wanna learn more about Motiva breast implants? In this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. I've traveled all the way from LA to Costa Rica. So come with me.